afternoon YouTube I am back again with some more videos on makeup as I promised so for this look I'm gonna show you all the product that I've used to achieve this look okay and some of them are store-bought product some is actually from Mac so I'll tell you what they are I will not be recreating this look which means I'm not doing a tutorial, okay? I'm just gonna be showing you exactly what I use to achieve this look. Maybe in another video, if you guys give this video a thumbs up or subscribe and tell me, hey, I wanna see how you achieve this look, I'll create a, a tutorial, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna cover, what I've used is my foundation. Of course, you guys know we can use any pencil to create the eyebrows, of course, any pencil. What I have under my eyebrows, which is on my, my bones, I put a little of this there, which is an highlighter. You all know what this look like. And this is just to give you that look right there. All right, this is what I use. All right, coming down to my eyes, coming down to my eyes. The lashes that I've been loving so far, or been loving this far, is Kiss. It's Envy Premium by Kiss. Envy Premium by Kiss. I am loving these lashes. It's a KPED 39. I am really loving this. Give it this big. I love it. And this is what the pack look like. And I use basically, I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it. So be careful if you're allergic to this. Do not follow me and use it. But I actually use the air glue. The glue that you put into glue your tracks in. That's exactly what I use to put my lashes on. I do not use eyelash glue at all. For some reason, I don't like it. I have some, but I don't use it because I prefer the air glue. It's some, for some reason, it stays on your eyes. Lashes ain't moving. So that's on my lashes. On my lashes, I'm actually wearing um, some eyeshadow. I forgot who made them. But of course, well, I'll talk about eyeshadow in another video. But I forgot who the brand is so I'll come back to that but anyway for my foundation I am wearing one of my favorite store brand is Maybelline New York fit me Mac poreless that's what it looks like yes that's what I'm wearing and my color is 20 m 401 that is actually my color or I'm sorry is actually the coconut so the 355 coconut that is actually my color and I blend it together guess what I do so because I have some yellowness to my skin tone and I have some redness it's very hard to match me so guess what I do black opal you know it's made for us dark complexion so black opal I use black opal when the color is his or not I use the black opal on my skin first Pretty, maybe pretty dark um, this is what it looks like it's a little dark but don't worry after I put that on I come in with this bad boy here and this is actually lighter so after I blend these two together it gives me this look yes true to my skin so Maybelline fit me and black opal black opal never fail it's been around for years try it then next thing that i use of course the famous benign powder in carmel benign carmel everybody on youtube talk about benign i use the set my highlights that's what i use to set my highlights and of course to make sure i have a very good highlights i won't be creasing i use a mac of course pro concealer for my highlights and of course i said i'll do a tutorial if you guys request it and then for my blush, you may be not able to see it because guess what? This makeup, I have it on from 7 a.m. this morning. I went to church and I come back and I'm still looking like this. To the T, right? Yes. So for my blush, I use, it's called Asian, Clow uh, Asian Color and it's Raspberry and it's by black roberts i think but let me show you you will you, you you will see it everywhere and i'll list these below so you guys can see it of course 
and of course to do my little contouring my little i use my favorite Re Re uh, rebecca of course y'all know about rebecca beautiful beautiful and please guys please when you're doing your eyeshadow make sure you have a base because guess what i found out i'm not a makeup specialist i'm not a professional but i play with colors and what i found out is that if you use a, any a good base you can wear any makeup which means you can buy one from the dollar store and the color will pop long as you have on a base and my base is from color it's a brand that's in my mall here my local mall nothing special about it but it really makes my color pops and one more thing i have a little darkness around my mouth and right around my eyes so i color correct to get this flawless look what i used to color correct nothing expensive nyx guys nyx and i use the orange can't use the yellow so that's what it looks like nyx and that really set my face so there is a secret in order to have your face looking this oil free all day since i have super 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 oil skin i use one good thing philip magnesia ha what a youtuber from jamaica did that and i was like that was just heaven sent for me so what i do now is i put that on let it dry then i color correct put that right around my mouth and right on my eyes on my dark areas and my face is like a wall ready to be painted. So this is my face from 7 a.m. And it's now 7 p.m. I'm taping this record, 7 p.m. And this is how my face look. And of course, the lipstick. I only wear matte lipstick because I want it to last all day. I even went to eat dinner today and my lipstick remains. I use Ruby, Ruby Boo. And that is from MAC. That's what it looked like. So, just an all on. On top of my highlight, I use this Tatasian. I think I'm saying it right. But that's what it looks like. It's one of these things that you use to highlight. But I'm not a big fan because it sheds a lot. So, I put this one on first. Which, again, I'll put the tutorial. So, I put this one on. And after I put that on, I go in and I put this on top of it just to give that glow and i do not overdo it but trust me maybe i soon will be doing that because i actually love that glow that you know you see that glow yes so that's what i'm talking about so these are all the products that i used and some are store bought and some are from mac not even that expensive but i'm a long cone girl but you guys know long cone is very expensive. So to wear it every day, I had to come up with something. And this is a cheap way of collaborating many different products together and achieve a wonderful MAC finish. And you won't know unless I tell you, right? I know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up on this video. So I'll be back again. Not sure what video yet, but I'll be back again to give you guys another tutorial. Remember, subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.